we are again in the World War I gallery of the San Diego Air and Space Museum. In back of me is a World War I uh, fighter called the triplane. We call it the triplane. The Germans refer to it as a dry decker, meaning three wings. The, uh, the DR-1, as it's actually known as, a Fokker DR-1, had three wings. And plus there was actually one down below, so I could actually argue it has three and a half wings. It had an Oberusel rotary engine, uh, like we discussed with the uh, Eindecker over there. The rotary engine produced about 100 horsepower. This airplane would turn like crazy with three wings. The, uh, and a lot of the pilots really liked it. But unfortunately, with the damp conditions of the weather in, in Germany being prevalent, quite often these wooden airplanes, wooden and paper airplanes or cloth airplanes, uh, had sufficient significant problems, especially with the top wing. The first air, the first of the airplane was tested in September 1917 and became an active uh, fighter late 1917 until about May to June of 1918. During that period of time, the most famous pilot of World War I is Manfred von Richthofen, also known as Rittmeister Manfred von Richthofen. He wore a cavalry officer's outfit because he had been part of the cavalry. And as I explained in the other video, the cavalry was largely put out of business because of horses not doing well against machine guns and barbed wire. Again, this airplane would turn like crazy, uh, had a very effective rudder, and it had, uh, with the wings being what they were, it would climb like crazy. One fellow I talked to said, when you take off, it looks like you're sitting behind Venetian blinds and the airplane just kind of goes straight up because of all the lift. The essentialness of turning is if you're in a dogfight, the guy that can turn the sharpest is going to get in back of the other guy. One person turns, he can turn sharper, he can go down and inside. It was very effective. And they, incidentally, the German pilots flew almost exclusively over their own territory. And when Manfred Richthofen was shot down in April of 1918, he had made the mistake of going about 30 miles into, into France at the time. Some of the more famous pilots that flew these airplanes, besides von Richthofen, who incidentally, of his 80 victories, only 20 were in this airplane. Uh, the majority of them were, were in, the, in the Albatross, and there were some in some other Alperstadts and that sort of aircraft, other German aircraft fighters. The reason these were called pursuit planes, uh, and then we changed it later to fighters. It really comes after World War II. They changed the name to, to fighter. Significant pilots who flew it. Von Richthofen, Ernst Udet. Ernst Udet had 64 victories flying these sort of airplanes. Well, probably a variety of them, but this one as well. The DR-1 pretty much went out of favor in May to June of 1918 and was replaced by the D-7, which we have a model of it in the back of me. Uh, another person who flew this was Hermann Goering. Hermann Goering had 18 victories in World War II, World War I, I should say, and he became the commander of the Luftwaffe in World War II. Be sure and visit us at the San Diego Air and Space Museum.